What's up guys? I just got home from a trip. I've got something I gotta show you. That is a lot of boxes. Woo! What's up guys? John the Pilot from Soar and More introducing you to the F35 by Major Fitness. The whole purpose of the Lightning F35 is supposed to give you a maximum workout in a really, really small area. Before I get any further into it, Major Fitness reached out to me. They offered to send me an F35 100% free to give my honest thoughts after I've been using it for about two weeks. See what the pros are, see what the cons are. And could this be a good fit for a beginner, intermediate, or even like a pro bodybuilder type? So I really wanted to go over the quality of it and see how it was. And I wanted to make sure that it would be a great addition for anybody's home gym. And I've found that a power rack is almost a necessity now that I'm diving into this home fitness world. What do you think of all these boxes right here, dude? What do you think of all the boxes? Good. Yeah? You excited about the new workout gear? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna help me work out, dude? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Everything's packaged really well on the inside. So it roughly takes about 20 minutes to unbox everything and kind of get all set up. Everything was packaged very well. Nothing was damaged when it showed up. So I just kind of get a system here where I lay everything out so I know what I need to do next and find the next piece for the instructions. They do a really good job packing because these are the chrome guides where you put the weights on there for the pulley system and they're inside the horizontal supports. Good news is that extremely tight packaging actually puts the cost savings to the consumer. Bad news is you gotta put it, to your, put it together yourself. But the good news is since you're putting it together yourself, cost savings for the consumer. So after the unboxing, there's quite a lot of parts. So if it seems overwhelming, you could use the QR code on the instructions and it'll send you right to a video that helps kind of put things together for you so you understand them a little bit better. If you're a visual person, it's fantastic. Um, it helped me. I looked at it and it kind of supplemented the instructions because the instructions, the actual paper booklet kind of needed an improvement to be honest. My next door neighbor, Ryan, just came over. He saw all the boxes that's going on with Major Ludi. This dude's into fitness as well. He's checking out what I got going on here. What do you think so far, dude? Dude, you're going to get swole. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get know. swole. We're going to see what happens. But I don't know. I guess I maybe I should have asked him for some help. But, you know, I'm just trying to demonstrate. You can't put this thing together on your own. So let's go. I'd say I mean, in 2020, I should have asked Ryan to stick around and help me. It would have probably cut down my build time for this thing. Anywhere from probably six hours, maybe down to four, and he could have helped install these boards that I needed so I can anchor this thing into the wall. This is what I'll be using to secure wood, not concrete, lag bolts. So as you can see, I don't have concrete walls, I have drywall and I've got two by four studs. So what I'm doing is adding a sheet of plywood that Ryan awesomely gave me so I could find all my studs and make one heck of a mounting point for this thing. That's how I have done my reinforcement. It's tons of lag bolts, sheet of plywood from my buddy Ryan. Thank you so much, dude. All right, now, this, now it's time to get this thing upright and attached. The next thing is you kind of want to make sure everything's perpendicular and level. So that looks good there. It's a little off up here at the pull-up bar. Just a touch off. I suspect that's my garage. There we go right there. So that's about as good as it's going to get. I'm going to go ahead and lag bolt all those in. Hopefully I'll get a workout in today. Another thing, I haven't seen too many of these folding power racks on the market. I don't know how many there are, and I know the ones that I have seen are significantly higher in cost than this one. Also, to be 100% transparent and clear, Major Fitness sent me this bench. All the bumper plates you see here, which is two 10s, two 25s, two 35s, and two 45s. And they also sent an Olympic 7.1 inch 45 pound 
bar. So the total cost of this whole setup, including shipping, which is actually pretty good for freight, is $2,049.99. It's actually a pretty good deal. Oh, and it comes with all the attachments that you need when it comes to the pulley system. All right, so the accessories it came with for the pulley system are obviously two handles, more than adequate. Yes, this is ABS plastic. The D-rings, more than adequate, just like anything that you would see at a commercial gym. Four Olympic weight security clips for each one of the four Olympic weight for the pulley system. Obviously, you know the safety, the rack, landmine. So if you use the landmine, it comes with the handle that you need in order to do some rows. Comes with a lap bar, which can be used in many different ways. And it also comes with a straight bar. As of right now, I haven't seen any other type of accessories for the pulley system offered by Major Fitness. And in all honesty, these accessories are adequate. They're not the best that I've ever used. Just for example, the straight bar system does not have a bearing where the attachment can move freely around 360 degrees. And the reason why, obviously you can get a workout from it, but when you grip it, it turns with you. So it may slide as your weight increases depending on your strength. Me personally, I prefer the ones that swivel 360 degrees. Now, obviously, when you have those kind of attachments, it would increase the price of the total cost of the system. And the system of the F-35, just itself, with eh, the okay attaching hardware, is $949 shipped. So that's something to consider. And the cool thing is, if Major Fitness does not come out with upgraded pulley attachment systems, there are aftermarket brands that you can buy in order to get that quality that you're looking for. Like here is the lap bar attachment. And I know most places, commercial gyms, these swivel 360 degrees. Okay, so the actual footprint that this thing takes folded up, you know, you have to include the area here where this extends because it does kind of go past where you can see it folds, but it roughly sits. I'm gonna go ahead and say to be 100%, it's gonna take about 23 inches of space off the wall. Now this actual measurements, as opposed to what you see online, it's about 54 inches. So 54 inches in width and about 23 inches coming out. So if you need space in your garage, your basement, whatever you're trying to do, you can fold it up and you can stack stuff in front of it. I do it all the time. And I have to move stuff out of my garage because you can see See how crowded everything is in here. I, my family's growing significantly, so this actually works pretty good for my lifestyle right now. All right, let's unfold it and check it out. So unfolding the F-35, you gotta pull out these yellow pins, get those out, come up here to these black pins, pull them back, and I start inking on it one-handed. It's a little tough, but you get the, the hang of it. And then it swings out and it opens up, which gives you access to, access to your squat rack. And in a way, you've already got a single pulley system here and you can utilize the handles. Come over to the second one, do the same thing. A little tough, but this thing's pretty, pretty solid. It's actually really well built, but it comes with these nylon wheels right here. And that's what allows it to roll and also have stability when you start putting weight on this system. All right, so the safety system, it fits right, just like any other squat rack out there. Just for grins right now, I'll put it at the bottom. I don't have it there. Oh yeah. Do not forget to put back in the yellow safety pins. You're gonna need that for stability. Just for security, those screw in a little bit tighter so they don't move. I also forgot to mention pull up bar system and you pull out, put it right through. And in my opinion, this is extremely necessary for using the cage system. If you're gonna do any really, really powerful workouts in order to keep everything stable. If you're doing just the pulley system workouts, I am i don't think this is 100% necessary because of where these settings are, you can expand these out and you can get a really, really good wide pull, especially for flies using the handles. But a little bit closer look, these holes right here, which are used to get in your safety bars. I'm trying to do it one handed, I'm getting better. Are here, and apparently they can hold up to a thousand pounds. And these two right here are your actual 
your barbell holder, they can hold up to 660 pounds. The bench they sent, this is the only bench that I see that they have right now. It doesn't fold up, it comes with wheels, but it's really easy to position and move and get it set up where you need it to. Very, very comparable to what you will see in a commercial gym. However, it's not 100% that, but for you working out in your, in your own house, it's gonna be more than adequate. All right, I'm about to do my favorite test. Any piece of workout equipment that I get into, I really want Get in there and go crazy with it. So there is spacing in the way it was designed. The machining, obviously they mass produce these things. It's not a hundred percent. You can still, st everything still rattles in here. So the tolerance in the machining isn't as good as probably maybe some really expensive ones that you would see in a commercial gym. However, for personal use, it's more than adequate in my opinion. Yep, that's a legit 45 pounds. And it's just like any bench press anywhere that you would see in a commercial gym. Works out real well. So the system itself, it advertises as 14 gauge steel. I think personally, if it took an impact, this would most likely bend. So you don't want to impact it that way. Everything else I believe is 14 gauge steel. The cool thing, I like how this was designed. If your bar system is out of the way and you're into bands, you can attach bands here, do some ass assisted pull-ups or anything that you can do when it comes to any calisthenic type training, when it comes to a pull-up system. The thing I don't like about it is it's not knurled at all. It's 100% slick and it's powder coated. So if your hands get sweaty like mine, you're most likely going to start slipping around on this pretty good. So my thought process is I think I'm going to add some grip tape in order to see how I can make this a little bit more um, grippable. But at the same token, I don't know, maybe as you're working out with this, you increase your forearm strength in order to get stronger grip and then you won't slip off of it. So the pulley system, here's the whole pulley system. It's rated at a one to one ratio. So whatever you have here, let's see 45, 90, 95, plus another 25, 115 pounds. If I were to pull on this handle, that is 115 pounds. All right, let's talk about how simple the pulleys are to operate. Let's see if they really work. So the cool thing is you loosen it to pull, pull down. And surprisingly, I'm doing this all one handed. It's really simple. Obviously, it's not going to move anymore because this is in the way. So here, remember the storage system. Boom. Let's see if I can adjust these one-handed. And they'll click into place too. And then I just recommend, obviously, here. So what you will notice, surprisingly, the pulley system itself does not wiggle that much. Now, the pulley system with these chrome bars here, you can see inside how the system works. They weren't too smooth in the beginning. The chrome rods or the guide rods or the, the system that holds these plate weights did come with a little bit of grease, but I went ahead and added more grease on top of it. I used my synthetic grease. I'll put a link in the description below. It really, really helps smoothing out this whole cable system. And another thing, since you do the cables on your own, the instructions are okay showing you how to do it. I'm gonna talk about that later but if you ever have an issue with this system and the cables seem really really stiff there's a high probability that you don't have the cable itself correctly inside the pulley's channel so that's something you have to pay attention to oh one thing these bumper plates are awesome I've never had a set of bumper plates before. They, I am assuming, just as good as what you'd see at the standard CrossFit gym. I can't complain. And plus, it's free shipping on these weights. That's a huge plus, especially this day and age when it comes to machining and sending stuff by freight. So the reason why I did that, I just wanted to show the operation of the pulley system. So it's light, obviously it's gonna bounce around. I would say that the actual pulley carrier itself probably weighs 20 pounds. So you have a 20 pound preload already on it. System is really, really smooth. Now that I've added that grease, no issues whatsoever. It comes with a D-ring for each side so that you can use the attachments and also has that rubber washer grommet to, in order to make sure that the ball doesn't travel on you. So I don't know if you've seen my previous videos. I absolutely love functional trainers. And the cool thing about this is that any Olympic weights that you have, if you have some sitting around from previous equipment, you can use them on this. And I'm pretty sure you can add as much weight as you want to your heart's content. So you could always level up when it comes to any of your des strength desires. So let's widen it out. And now what you have, you got a really, really wide fly system. 
I mean, this thing is wide. I actually got to throw more weight on there. Yeah, super wide. Now, the one thing is you are limited to how far away you can go due to the length of the cables. Another thing about it is you completely lose any type of pull-ups that you would have because you detached the pull-up bar system. As I'm changed back to the cage mode, I wanna talk about the overall setup, how high it is and how much space it takes. All right, extending from my wall all the way, and I'll even do it with the safety. It's a total of about 58 inches. So the total length of the F-35 all-in-one Lightning, when you have it fully spread, it can get all the way up to 89 inches. I'm not sure if you guys see Here's my garage, there's the opener. I think I have a standard garage in the United States of America, but I don't know if I would be able to use this system underneath my garage track. So one thing I wanna talk about that's ultra important with this system, you have got to attach it to the wall. I have seen some videos out there of guys using this system and not attaching it to the wall, and I think that is crazy. Just for safety and having this thing possibly fall on you is not gonna be a good day. All right, so to give you a point of reference, this part right here goes up to 84.4 inches. I am 5'10", this is my wingspan, and this is me grabbing the pull-up bar and I do have to stretch in order to grab it and get up. If you're a tall guy, I think this system could work for you is because how high these pulleys can get and also that they're lower so you'll actually have a good range in order to use the cable system. One other thing about Major Fitness is the representative who I've been speaking with about this system has notified me that every single one of the accessories that's on Major Fitness's website is supposed to work with this system. I don't know because obviously I don't have any of them. However, that's really cool because if you want to expand your system and add leg attachments, possibly some different bench accessories, dip system, all that kind of stuff is available on Major Fitness's website. And I believe they'll give you a discount because you're a returning customer. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. One of the coolest things about Major Fitness is that they give a discount to first responders, military, and law enforcement. I thought that was spot on. Me being a veteran and former law enforcement, man, I really appreciate that. That speaks a lot to the company and the ideas behind it. Another thing that they do is they have these community building goal systems where you can sign up and try to achieve some things that Major Fitness is trying to promote, such as weight loss, strength gains, you know, anything that has to do with utilizing their, their systems and seeing if you can possibly win a prize, all right? And I've seen some of these prizes, it looks like they go up beyond 500 bucks or discounts on all their products. Pretty cool. One thing I wanna make abundantly clear, I am not a personal trainer, I'm not a fitness model, and I just like to work out at home in my garage because I'm a dude who loves to spend time with his family. I was in the military, I was law enforcement, now I'm an airline pilot, so take this all with that in mind. So here's some footage of me doing some basic workouts. This is a simple bench press. I really actually enjoyed it. It's been a long time since I've had a really cool setup in my own home where I could do some good bench pressing. And then I'm kind of experimenting here, moving on about how I can really work my back and get some pull downs going. And I'm kind of experimenting where I can put my feet. But um, the one thing I noticed is I kind of have to be a little higher because you can see the weights kind of bump the top of the track there so there's got to be a way for me to figure out how to utilize the cable in a good spot and me doing some deadlifts that i have not done in forever so please be easy on the form but the good news is is now i get to practice and get into that stuff so here i am i'm kind of already kind of spent but I'm, I'm really liking the uh opposite parallel grips that i can do with the uh, pull-up bar the way it's set up and there's tons of awesome experimentation you can do with this system so i'm really excited about that now let's see i'm gonna go ahead and fold her back up and show it as if it was just like i left it when i came downstairs and then set it up for a workout
Well, I hope this was informative enough for you so that I know you're buying si something sight unseen, but from my opinion, I think that the uh, Major Fitness F35 Lightning all-in-one folding home gym is definitely worth the price. There are some things that could be improved upon it. I already talked about all that, but if you're looking for something, which I'm excited about, that can increase the amount of workouts, you can get real creative with these, plus the barbell, plus the landmine, plus the pull-ups, all that good stuff. There are so many possibilities. This thing says it has over 80 workouts. I believe that you can do way more than 80 workouts with a creative mind and a lot of time, and if you're into working out. Or even if you're starting to getting into working out and you wanna do it at home, this is pretty much everything you could possibly need and allow you to get even better and better in your workouts and more experience to expand. Plus, all you have to do is add weight and you're gonna get stronger. And the great thing is, too, there's a lot of access to the different workouts with the pulley system and that landmine where you can even increase strength with different mobility items and the attachments that it comes with helps with all that imaginative creativity when it comes to getting a great workout at home. So, with that being said, I just want to remind everybody, yes, it was sent to me free. This is my honest opinion. I think it's decent. I think it's good. I think it's a great bang for your buck. This is John the Pilot at Soar More. See ya.